there's another kind of replicator that potentially could be doing the same job as DNA. And that's where the meme came from. The meme is the unit of cultural inheritance. It's anything that behaves like a gene in human culture. The act of reproduction at the genetic level would be the act of copying an idea from one brain to another. And I used examples like whistling a tune and somebody else catches the tune, almost like catching a virus. And they whistle the tune and they walk off into the street whistling the same tune and somebody else catches it. Uh, and whistles the same tune. And so potentially you can have the same tune spreading throughout, throughout the town. Or if not a tune, it could be a style of dress, um, it could be an accent, it could be a, a favorite word, a style of pottery or wood carving or anything like that which, which is copied from one person to another. You could imagine a style of carpentry, a style of wood carving that is copied from a master to an apprentice, and then the apprentice becomes a master of the next generation and passes on his skill. Wherever you have memes that are copied from one brain to another, you potentially have the possibility of a kind of natural selection. Now, it's a big step from that to say there actually is natural selection. Presumably, if we go with the analogy of the tunes, some tunes are more likely to be whistled and copied than others because they're just better tunes. Uh, they're, they're, they're more catchy. We, we actually use the word catchy. So there is a kind of natural selection that we all sort of know about. Um, various objections have been raised to the theory of memes. And by the way, I should add that I, I only ever proposed it in order to downplay the gene as the only unit of natural selection. 